All right, Steve, the 6-2 swap's done. All set. Fender <laughs> emblems, that's all we needed. <laughs> Those look good. Yeah, they do. Slap a turbo sticker under there so the turbo kit's done too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, another day, we got the truck. Uh, still getting worked on here, the 2024 GMC. We've got the engine just unwrapped here. We're gonna check out this engine from LME. It looks nice. Steve, you unwrap yourself a nice new LME engine. Oh yeah. This is a 381 cubic inch forged rod and piston motor, and it's got a stock LT4 crank in there, which those cranks are rated to quite a bit of horsepower, more horsepower than we're gonna be pushing out this truck for sure. Steve's gonna go ahead and get these uh, ARP head studs in. We have an Escalade V valley cover that we put on here for right now. This is a non-DOD delete, uh, a non-DOD cover, I should say. The Escalade Vs do not have DOD from the factory. So these covers are a great option for you. We do, however, have to plug this here. This goes into the factory supercharger on Escalade, which on this, we are gonna be running the factory intake. Over here, we have some ported and polished LT4 heads from late model engines. These things are milled a little bit, so it'll bump the compression up. They already have dual valve springs installed and they are LT4 heads, so they have the good stainless valves in them that will hold up to some heat and some horsepower. Right there, right, Steve? Yeah. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to let you know whenever I post a new video. We have a uh, Brian Tooley Stage 2 turbo camshaft for this engine as well. Leave it sitting right here. Uh, that one's on my box. Oh, wrong cam. Go over here. Yeah, so we have the Brian Tooley Stage 2 turbo cam that we're gonna be running this thing. Should sound pretty good, should thump pretty good. And then we have our billet uh, LME front engine cover VVT delete with the chain guide in there as well. So it eliminates the factory chain guide, obviously some ARP head studs, all the DOD delete stuff. We're gonna be putting Johnson lifters in this thing, Johnson drop-in lifters, not the short travel ones. So it's getting some good parts, guys. The uh, truck's really gonna make a lot of power. We're gonna make this thing to where it holds up and you can basically just go out and beat on it and not give you any issues. We are gonna be reusing some of Nemo's parts on this. We have Nemo's Garrett turbos right here. These don't have the compressor housings on them, but we are gonna be using one of Nemo's 76 millimeter G45 Garrett turbos on this build. So that one turbo is good for about a thousand plus horsepower, probably a thousand 1100 ish, give or take. But uh, that's exactly what we want out of this truck as far as power wise. And then we are talking to our drive shaft guy about making us custom carbon fiber front and rear drive shafts for this thing. Should be able to hold all the power. Obviously, we'll have to build the front and rear diffs in this to uh, hold up, just changing the, uh, the differential inside there to hold up to a little bit more power. Got the billet LME front engine cover here, the VVT delete cover. Also comes with a cam gear that's got the hole drilled out a little different so that way the cam is offset correctly there so the timing's not messed up. And then the billet uh, chain guide right there to replace the factory chain tensioner, which is nice. This also is cool because it's actually got a gasket on here. The stock covers do not have any gasket on them at all. It's just silicone. So this is a little added benefit that you get from going with the LME cover. Plus it looks really nice. Got our LT4 high pressure fuel pump and LT4 injectors. It's just factory GM stuff there. We'll get those swapped over on these fuel rails. So we'll be good there. Also, Steve brought up another good point with using the LT4 heads. The LT, uh, stock LT manifold will not bolt up because that bolt pattern is different on the heads. So we're going to have to get the ICT billet adapters that go from LT4 to LT1 head bolt, intake bolt pattern. We'll get that all done. It's not a problem. They're really not even that thick. I want to say they're about maybe a quarter inch thick, maybe a little bit thicker than that. So it doesn't change the geometry of a whole lot on there. Obviously everything clears under there. So we're good there. 
Okay, so we did find out one more cool thing. Uh, the Escalade V pump uh, does go right in there and all the connectors and everything look the exact same. These trucks have a fuel pressure or fuel pump control module which regulates the voltage like the Escalade V does. So we think that you can use the Escalade V pump in these uh, newer GM trucks if you guys are looking for more in-tank pump. That's gonna be a good solution for you because the pump is much larger in that Escalade V hat. Let's see if we got them both here. Where's the other one at, Steve? I'll put it back in the put box. Put it back in the box. So this is our Escalade V pump here. You can get these from the dealer for less than 300 bucks. But yeah, you can see that is the pump there on the Escalade V and that's the little guy there that came stock in the 5.3 truck. So, but look at the top. Everything looks the exact same. Perfect. And Very the connectors, nice. all the pins are in the same location. Yep, plugs Everything. right in. The only thing different is the level sensors on different sides, but I think it'll still clear. I don't think it'll be an issue, Steve. Yeah. So that's pretty good. And then, like I said, I got this from the dealership. There's the part number there. Pause the video. You can take it. But uh, I had it in just a couple days from ordering it. Obviously, all the stock exhaust from the front oh, to the back is uh, getting changed out because we are going turbo, so we'll have to reroute all this stuff. Get rid of the big old muffler there. I can't wait to see the frames side by side to see where exactly the difference is from the short bed frame to the long bed frame. That'll be an interesting one to kind of compare. So we have the manifold. This is a uh, 2016 and newer SS Camaro manifold. These are stainless from the factory. This is what we run on Nemo, and Nemo makes 2,000 horsepower on these manifolds. Uh, we flipped it, and it's going to be perfect because we can have the pipe from the other side come down like stock, come back around, and then ride all up into the turbo, which would be about right here. So that's going to work good, Cam. Oh, yeah. You can keep all the AC, all the accessories, yeah. everything. Four-wheel drive. Yeah. Yep, because that's another thing, guys. We gotta make sure that we don't get in the way of the four-wheel drive, the front front uh, drive shaft for the four-wheel drive. Oh yes. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm getting excited It'll, now. Maybe oh, we'll yeah. do the connecting pipe tighter up under the bell housing, mm -hmm. and then maybe follow this with the down pipe. Yeah. To go around the drive shaft. Just go up and around. Okay, we are down at the other end of the shop in our fab department and cam is still working on nemo's cage it's starting to take a lot of life now lots of bars going in this thing it is a 25 5 cage so it, as you can probably guess it's a lot of stuff going on uh this is going to certify to 750 and it looks really good so this is uh the current state of the cage almost got the funny car hoop done he's got uh one more bar to go or a couple more bars up here to go and that's it and then you can start working on the back bars here it's got that single door and then there's of course there's another x got the dash bar in there that goes through the dash all the upper bars here and then of course he has to do the the x over here as well uh the cool thing is you know this car's factory firewall factory door hinges factory floor plan floor, floor pan so we don't have to do all the floor bars um that a normal 750 cage would need so that's pretty cool that we don't have to add all that stuff because Nemo still is very much so a street car. And the rear cross member we're putting in adds our other crossbar in the back. That Perfect. They want to. Okay, so, nice. Yeah, it's, it's doubling up. Nice. And then we are going to um, tie in to the rear 9-inch cradle, but we're going to bolt it in. So it's still going to be a bolt in because if it was tied in, it's considered a full chassis. Right. We have some classes, you know, one of our buddies that races a lot with Justin as well told us a good point. You know, some of the classes don't want it a chassis. I mean, you, you have it all tied in then you're not a street car really. So right. Right. Not only I wanted serviceability, but the main point now I would say is because certain classes, I mean, I don't, I don't want you going up with a pro mod for no reason. Yeah, we want to we want to still keep Nemo in the street classes, yeah. but be safe at the same time. Exactly. Guys, this cage does not make Nemo any faster. If anything, it makes Nemo a little slower because it's a lot of extra weight, but it does make the car more safe. So just because you see someone with a really wicked cage in their car doesn't automatically mean it's a race car. Right. I mean, this stuff is, is, you know, 
required by a lot of tracks to be able to run the times that Nemo right. runs. You just see a lot of your faster race cars with this kind of stuff. So of course everybody, you know, right. is like, oh, you're pro mod now. No, it's just because we're running that fast in the street car. Yes, and as organizer of a bunch of events, I have to kind of set the standard yeah. for this stuff too. Yeah, you can't preach it. I've been doing it too long <laughs> now and it's time to step up. <laughs> it's looking good, Cam. Also, the fender emblems came in, 6.2 liter V8, not too many regular cabs with these bad boys on, at least that actually are 6.2, it's technically like a 6.4, 6.3, but it's close enough, it's look good, these are just the, the GM accessory ones you can get uh, from the dealership. Steve, the 6.2 swap's done. All set. Fender uh -huh. emblems, that's all we needed. <laughs> Those look good. Yeah, they do. Slap a turbo sticker under there so the turbo gets done too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>